G'day everyone. So today's activity is I'm actually putting together the studio launch video, which I'm hoping to get done and release on the channel by the end of today. So hopefully by the time you see this vlog, it'll be out. But in doing so, uh, I've done the main edit of the talk to camera bit, and now I need to go on a trip through time. Two periods of time in particular. One through my creative history, looking up, this is my terrible old Paladin series DVD that I made when I was 17. And I need to go through old family footage and old like random files that I have of just like, basically videos of me making stuff when I was a kid, maybe even taking some B-roll with my phone of some of the old art I made. Because at the start of the year, I talk about, you know, uh, basically my roots as a creator. So that's gonna help me tell the story, is finding that old footage of me making stuff. Like for example, on this crappy DVD, there's behind the scenes that I made, you can see, uh, which will be humorous to look at again and include. And then the other period of history we're gonna go back on is the last four months. Uh, basically, I wanna to put together a bit of a montage and because I keep all of the raw footage of vlogs, uh, so that I have the full clips to work with and no audio in the background, no music and stuff. I'm going to put all that together and tell a concise story of the last four months. Yeah. So I want to do that in a couple of minutes and make it like a really cool sort of adventure. Fair warning, I've just started watching through some of this stuff and it's really cringy, like cringier than I remember. Uh, it's fine because that's, again, it's your roots, it's your origins, but just, you have been warned. <laughs> Now the interesting thing about episode 5 is that the music was made from scratch. Oh, that's cringy. My apologies are now made to the following. To the music used from Paladin episode 1, I apologise to Howard Shaw, Drowning Pool and Hans Zimmer. And I thank you for not suing me. Ugh. Paladin episode 3. Howard Shaw, again. It's Uncle Otto and Dream Theater. To you all, I'm sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> See, you checked up. Hey, it's me again. And you're watching the music part of the DVD. Now, if you don't want to watch it, you can go back. If you do want to watch it, be warned that I am not the greatest music, well, okay, put it this way. If you're a musician and you know a lot about music, you can laugh at me through the whole thing. If you're not, I'm the best there is. Ah, man. So I'm gonna take you through each one to show you what they do, or what sound they make, bang, bang, bang. Um, and then I'll show you how I record it, so yeah. My little toy box. <clears throat> These are the minor parts that I'm going to use in creating this song, um, but they're still important, right? This is the shaker. <laughs> Sounds like a real grand piano. It's really good. It's got all other different piano sounds. And my favourite part, of course, is the strings that you can get. Positioning them on the instruments I need while I'm recording and they have a really good professional sound. And if you're wondering where I got all this professional stuff, eBay. Go there. Some things never change. <laughs> what you will see coming up now will be clips of everything I'm recording. This is the About Jazza section of the DVD where I'm supposed to tell you everything about me that I like and I do. And you bought the DVD, so I guess you deserve that, don't you? It's so cringy. Oh, this is bad. I went to the effort of putting hornymanity.com in the background. <laughs> oh. Also, this picture on the wall will be recognizable to Mormons among you because I used to be a Mormon when I was 17. Um, I like writing songs, putting the drums and the piano together, and I also like to sing. Now, there's not many dudes that admit that, 
But I do. Can't help it. Sorry. <laughs> oh no. It's too much. It's too much cringe. It's too cringy. Make it stop. Make it stop. Picture yourself in your bedroom talking to a camera on a stick. That's what I'm doing right now. Jazza from the past, staring at a camera on a stick becomes your full time job. Get used to it. <laughs> I also have this thing, which is a hard drive that um, my family put together, which is uh, a remnant of all of our family videos over the years. So there's lots and lots of footage on here and not much of which I'll be able to use for the video I'm putting together. So basically I've combed through hours of uh, family home video footage just to find clips essentially of me as a kid being creative, just to sort of help that narrative that I'm sharing with people about Essentially about Studio 2 being sort of a dream come true. Uh, anyways, this is uh, this is me conducting my family in song. This is one Christmas when I got a giant house that I could colour in. And uh, this is another Christmas where I was building a, a big block city. This is my favourite gem of video. I didn't even realise that we had this. Uh, uh, my mum had come in and filmed our little Sunday afternoon activities and I was painting Warhammer. I was so rapt to find that. Uh, this is me drumming when I was crap at drumming, building trains with my nephews and playing piano, singing at school and at church and drawing pictures, filming video projects with my family and uh, just a whole bunch of different stuff. Essentially, it's essentially showing who I am and, and where I came from. And it's kind of nice that, but really, I haven't changed all that much. <laughs> help, help! I'll save you. Hi! Okay, so uh, the whole day has come and gone. Uh, I did take a break to do dinner and, and uh, put MJ in the bath and in bed. But it's now 12 p.m. and I've not finished the video yet. I've nearly finished it, but I need to draw a line and go to bed. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna hold off releasing this vlog uh, tomorrow until I'll, I've released the video that I've been working on today anyway, because it is nearly finished and I'd like you guys to go check it out by the time you've seen all that footage and all that stuff anyway, because it sort of makes sense for them to come out around the same time. So go check it out. It is genuinely one of the most sentimental, um, sappy videos I've put out there in a long time. And it, occasionally I like to, to kind of open up a bit and just really be real, I guess. This, the video that I'm, I'm putting out is really me. Now I've had a laugh in this video about the cringiness of, of my, you know, cringy being a teenager and trying to be cool and make cool stuff. But at the end of the day, it is to me the most special part of my memory of my childhood was cultivating those passions. And as cringy as some of those projects were, or some of my attitudes were, or I was, <laughs> I wasn't in a good place emotionally or physically. I had no friends and was bullied. And, you know, through all of that, it made me so happy. And I guess that's what it's all about at the end of the day. And I guess that's why I made the video I made today that I wanted you to go check out because I don't know, every now and then it's really grounding and nice to just take a step back and look at what's happened and just be thankful. And that's what I've done today. And I have genuinely spent today in and out of tears editing this thing, both feeling what I've felt, the gratitude I've had for the upbringing I had, the parents and the family that I had, but also the, the recent times with this community and what you guys have made possible. I can't express how grateful I am to be doing what I'm doing and I will be grateful every day to have been able to do it. So thank you for being a part of it. Uh, I'm gonna skip the question of the day because it's late um, and it's time for bed, but I just wanted to wrap up to 
be a little sappy with you. And uh, I guess I want to finish off by mentioning that, yeah, look, I was cringing at myself, but there will be some people who watch this who, who might uh, put what I have done in this context on YouTube on more of a pedestal and put themselves down. Uh, at, but I hope that in watching this video, you can see where I was and relate to that and understand that we all are cringy balls of awkwardness when we're teenagers or when we're learning or not skilled or just at various points in our life. I may look back on this and cringe one day, but right now this is where I am and this is what I'm doing and I'm loving it. And that's what matters. So throw the cringe aside. In fact, embrace the cringe because the cringe is our willingness to be vulnerable and be passionate. And sometimes that's ugly and messy and a bit awkward, but all the time it's beautiful and absolutely perfect. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you tomorrow.